Hey everybody, welcome back to another one. I know it's been uh, a while since I've made a video and I'm sorry, but I am back and I've been doing some uh, some game hunting lately and I've got a whole bunch of stuff and I, I just kind of want to show it off. This is most of it, oh, and here's the rest. So, here's the deal. I got two um, possibly broken uh, Xbox One controllers. Uh, no batteries or anything. Um, they were free, and I like to tinker with things and fix them, and, you know, I, I figured, worst case, I get some parts out to fix, you know, one or two that I may have broken of my own. But anyway, free free controllers, that's that's awesome. Here, right on top, we got some some original Nintendo games. We got Eight Eyes uh, for the NES. This one, it's gotta be one of the most common games around, but this one is in such nice shape. The label is absolutely pristine. The box, and if it'll come out, the manual, the original dust cover, like everything is included. So this is, you know, I think it's a nice, nice find. Uh, we've got uh, Jeopardy 25th Anniversary Edition. I actually remember playing Jeopardy on the NES as a kid. And uh, this is not my copy, obviously, but I don't know. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, we got Sesame Street. Um... I'm not sure even where I got this from. I think it came from Goodwill, but whatever. Okay, so we got, this one I thought was really cool when I saw it. It's um, Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. And usually that's what you see. This one also has world class, world class track meet included, which uh, after looking it up, it's it's pretty common, but I've, I've never actually seen it. So I think that's, that's kind of cool, it's, you know. Um, I, it's kind of cool. And then we got uh, two more NES games, and I don't know if these are original dust covers or not. It don't really matter. Adventure Island. Um, this is one I'm not familiar with. I've, I'm not super familiar with the original Nintendo to begin with. So, I mean, I had one as a kid, but we really only had a handful of games. Uh, and then we have WWF WrestleMania. So I don't know. I don't know. WrestleMania what? It's like the original WrestleMania. I don't know. Not a big wrestling guy either, but again, all those those carts came for the right price, so I am not complaining at all. Then up next we have uh, for the N64, and I've, I've got a couple N64 consoles and only like two games for them. So when I saw Star Fox uh, sitting on a shelf at Goodwill, I, I could not pass it up. So Star Fox... Yeah, you're going to be getting played at some point. We have a... This is a Game Boy Advance SP battery. I think this is a new one. Um, this actually... You know what this is? This came out of my Game Boy uh, Advance SP when I modded it. And here, I'll show you that because I'm pretty cool about that too. Pretty excited I am cool. So that battery came out of a Game Boy Advance SP, you know, this one. Um, these things are like super expensive lately, so I don't I don't know what that's about, but I got a different one. The battery is bad, it got a new battery, and then decided to mod it and ended up with this beautiful thing. This is the uh, the boxy pixel unhinged uh, shell. And I've got it in all black, and my battery's low right now. But it also has a modded headphone jack, USB-C charging, uh, some huge stupid battery in there, an IPS, you know, uh, screen, adjustable brightness. Like, this thing is, this thing is cool. Oh, and I put on the, uh, 
I don't know if you can hear it here, compared to the original. There's the, the, um, the tactile uh, shoulder buttons. Every Game Boy Advance iMod gets those. I've got another, I've got another boxy pixel, um, just Game Boy Advance, the, the standard one, with those shoulder buttons, and they sound, oh my god, they sound amazing. But this is, this is my go-to Game Boy now, because, I mean, black on black, that thing is beautiful. Boxy Pixel's pretty cool. They got me the parts and everything, like, super quick. It's going to cost you a little bit of money, but, you know, that Game Boy, that Game Boy's cool. So that's that battery that'll go in another one. Uh, this actually came from my little brother. This is Pokemon uh, Green. This is the Japanese version so in japan they came out with uh oh what is it red blue red blue and green whereas in north america and i think most of the world got red blue and yellow so um that's pretty cool he, he said he had two copies of it i think i'm pretty sure this is his and i think i've got yellow or red and blue i don't know but that's pretty cool so that's that's awesome um, and then we got a PSP game here. We got Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squad. I don't have a case for this. It, it looks like it's not in super good shape on the disc back there, but uh, again, PSP games are cool. I like the PSP. Totally underrated system. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Okay, so this, this one's cool. I'm going to show you this one and this one next. So... Again, nothing special. This is a Nintendo DSi. This is the blue version. The box is a little beat up, but what I like about it is it is complete in the original box, and that's cool. And then I've got the uh, DMG Game Boy. So this is the, the Play It Loud version. This is the black, and I've been looking for these these Play It Loud versions uh, lately. The the um, oh what are those? There's about seven or eight of them. Uh, I think I've got clear green and now black in the collection, and um, they're not anything crazy rare. You okay there, cat? They're not anything crazy or rare or anything, but I think they're kind of cool, you know. Uh, and this actually came with Kirby's Dream Land. This is a game that I remember from my childhood, that was one of my favorite games um, ever. Oh, what else? Oh, we got some more PSP games. Need for Speed Carbon, uh, Ben 10, Protector of Earth. Oh, I think this is MX versus ATV, yep. And Assassin's Creed Bloodlines. I, I was big on Need for Speed when I was younger, so that's that's pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that out. Ben 10, you know, none of the rest of these really I was into. I never got into the Assassin's Creed games. I just, um, for whatever reason, they just never appealed to me. I tried playing one or two, and it just, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's worth taking a look at. PSP's awesome. Uh, we've got an original PlayStation 1. This thing needs some work. That open button is uh, pretty sticky. But uh, this is, oh, which one is this? This is the SC, CPH uh, 1001. So this is like the original PS1 with the door for your parallel. I don't know what they use that for. No clue. Um, and we also have full um, VJ out, or yeah, those. So I mean, the, again, nothing special, but um, Believe it or not, I didn't have a PS1 in my collection. I have like five PS2s, a couple of PS3s, but I didn't have a PS1. And uh, this thing needs some cleaning and maybe a good retro bright, but uh, you know, it'll be a fine addition to the to the shelves real soon. Um, and then we got some PS1 games. PS1's like my favorite system because that's that's the system I actually grew up playing. I've got a bunch of games for it now, but there were so many games for the PS1 that it'll be an entire lifetime before I get even close. We got Big Bass Fishing, Street Racquetball, RC Stunt Copter, which that case has seen much better days, 
Pro Pinball and uh, Madden 2002. None of those are, I can promise you, any good. Kind of curious about this RC Stunt Copter one, but I mean, I, I think these are all pretty, pretty, pretty much shovelware games. Madden, maybe not shovelware, but it's, it's Madden. Anyway, the, uh, the end of the pickup here, I got a few more games here. We got a couple for the Wii. We got Zelda Twilight Princess. Uh, this case is just absolutely destroyed. It is in such terrible shape. It's also the Nintendo Select version. So, I mean, it's whatever. You know, it's, it's Zelda. It'll get played. Disc is in, the discs are all in good shape. I checked those out earlier. Uh, and then again for the Wii, we've got Blazing Angels. So, um, I never played this. I had a Wii when it came out. It was probably one of the first new systems I ever bought. And I saw that and I just never played it. Uh, and then on the PS2, we've got Medal of Honor Rising Sun. You know, back when uh, Medal of Honor games were, you know, actually worth anything. Um, this case, again, is pretty, pretty beat up but the disc was in good shape. Um, we've got The Mummy Returns. Um, if you have not seen the cinematic masterpiece starring Brendan Fraser, The Mummy, then I feel bad for you because those movies are great. Um, and then last but not least, uh, we got a sealed copy of uh, Call of Duty 3. So it's a greatest hits, um, but it's sealed, and sealed games are... Sealed games are... They kind of hit a nerve with certain people. I, I like them for the collection. Uh, just to say, like, it's never been touched, it's never been looked at, but... You know, part of collecting these games is, is actually playing them, too. And... I can't bring myself to tear that seal on these... It's Call of Duty 3. I, I think we've all played Call of Duty before. Anyway, those are my recent retro like gaming pickups and uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. And I don't know what you guys think. Why don't you let me know in the comments? Um, and then let me know if you wanna see more about my, um, my Boxy Pixel, you know, Game Boy uh, Unhinged because I would love to do a video on this. Unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't get any video of me like putting it together, but uh, they actually just came out with the unhinged V2 shell. So some improvements they've made, I guess. I'm kind of considering doing another one. So if you guys are interested in this little thing, drop a comment, let me know. But uh, that's all I got for today. You know, thanks for sharing in my 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 gaming uh addiction's not the right word collection that's all i got thanks for watching and i will see you all in the next one bye